and welcome to uh, Cardiff City Hall, to this meeting of the Independent School Appeals Panel. We always start with introductions. My name is Paul Jeffries, and today I'm the chair of the, uh, the Appeals Panel. I'm a, a lay member, that means I'm not from uh, an educational background, uh, and my fellow panel members are on my left. My name is Mrs Janice Morgans and I'm the lay member of the panel. And on my right. And I'm Anne Davis, education member of the panel. We are the three panel members uh, and we are the only ones involved in taking the decision on your appeal today. Uh, but there are other people who stay in the room with us and I'll ask them to introduce themselves uh, in a moment. Uh, we three are volunteers. We, we, we don't get paid for this, we're not employees of the council, we have no connection with the, the council or the school, uh, but whatever decision we take in the hearing is legally binding upon the council and on yourselves. That means if we decide that your child should have a place in the school, uh, then they must let them in. Uh, if we decide they shouldn't, then they won't get in. <laughs> Uh, the panel will have read all the papers that you, uh, that you submitted uh, beforehand, so we're familiar with that part of the, uh, the background to the case. Uh, I see you've brought your papers with you, so uh, that's, that's good. You'll be able to refer to those as we go through the hearing. We do try to keep the hearing informal, uh, but there has to be a kind of structure to the proceedings. Um, and I'll ask the clerk to explain that, but uh, I'd like to stress up front that if at any point you don't understand, understand any of the terminology or jargon that we're using, uh, you must stop us and ask. We don't want anybody to go away feeling confused or that they uh, didn't get a chance to say everything they, they wanted to say. So uh, with that, can I uh, hand over to uh, uh, the clerk to introduce herself? My name is Sankara Price, I'm the clerk to the panel. I'm here to advise on oral procedure. My name is Joy Findlay and I'm the Minute Taker. And they stay with us throughout the, the appeal. Uh, also with us is... I'm Bev Brown, Presenting Officer for the Council. The clerk to, to the panel stays with us throughout the proceedings, uh, but I'll ask her to uh, describe her own role to you. So there's two different types of appeal hearing, but for both, appeal, both types of appeal, um, the appeal hearing is split into two parts. The first part is where the council, Mrs Brown for the council, will explain all about the admission arrangements and about the school and they have to prove their case. After that first part, we take a break and um, the panel make a decision about whether the council have proved their case or not. If they haven't proved their case, then the appeal ends there and uh, you would be successful. If they have proved their case, we move on to the second part, which is about your personal circumstances. The two different types of appeal are infant class size prejudice appeals and ordinary prejudice appeals. So infant class size prejudice appeals are because Welsh Government have brought in legislation which restricts the number of children in an infant class, which is just reception year one and year two, to no more than 30 children per class. So uh, any children that are in a, going into a reception year one or year two class where there's 30 children in the class, the appeal will be an infant class size prejudice appeal, but the other, uh, for any other appeal, it will be what's called an ordinary prejudice appeal. And the difference between the two is that for an infant class size prejudice appeal, there's just three grounds on which you can win your appeal. Ground A, which is that the admission arrangements are unlawful. Ground B is that the admission arrangements haven't been implemented properly. In other words, there's been some sort of mistake in not giving that child a place. And ground C, that the decision to refuse a place is not one which a reasonable council would have done given all of the circumstances. That last one, ground C, is sometimes described as perversity or outrageous. So it means more than just an unreasonable decision. It means uh, a decision which no other council, given all of the circumstances, um, would have made. For an ordinary prejudice appeal, um, all the panel do after the second part is weigh up and balance would there be more prejudice or problems for a child not admitted um, or would there be more problems for the school if they are admitted. So it's just a balance and exercise after the second part. The appeal panel do make the decisions on the same day, so you will find out if you're successful or not straight after an individual appeal hearing, or if it's a multiple appeal hearing, they make it after all um, parents have been heard on the last day of appeals, and again, emails are sent out the same day. 
but letters with full reasons aren't sent for at least another five days or longer during the busy period. If you have any queries about school appeals, um, you can email us at schoolappeals at cardiff.gov.uk or telephone 02920 872 474.